Hey guys, back with another video here. First, wanted to take a moment just to thank everybody who has subscribed. Um, you can see here on the screen we have hit 100 subscribers, which is a little bit of a milestone personally for me, uh, but also for YouTube. Got a nice notification sent to me that said, um, congratulations, you've hit your first 100 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed. If you are subscribed, please go ahead and click the like button or that little wheel down in the corner and um, it will subscribe you automatically so you can re receive new new videos and new content that, that I put out. Um, okay, thanks again. So the video here today that we're going to talk about uh, is related to an app that I found called PlugShare. Not sure if people out there know about this or not, but I certainly didn't know about it. Um, typically when I was charging my vehicle, I'd either charge at home or at a supercharger and paying some, um, you know, I don't have the free supercharging, so paying some decent uh, pricing for supercharging. Um, but this app, I think, can help you locally. So if we look at this app um, and you just simply click on any location here, uh, you'll see just a little pop-up that, that comes up and shows what the description of the place is on the map. And if we click that little I, you can drill into it a little bit more. It'll show that it's a Whole Foods. It shows the address, a little bit detailed map there. But here's the kind of the interesting thing. So you can see if it's if the parking is free. And free. 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 And free. Um, the hours that it's open. And then there's a little bit of a description of what type of charger it is, and then some of the amenities that are nearby, uh, as well as what type of plugs, and then and then it allows people to check in here. So these are the people that have been there recently and have clicked check in, and then also some user photos that that um, people have shared on the app as well. So I, I thought maybe I'd take this out today and, and try and verify some of these locations. I found three that I'm interested in, um, if I kind of zoom out right here, these three uh, along the top. So I'm going to um, go to this Albertsons Marketplace, which says it is free, um, open 24-7. And then I will just head a little bit uh, down the road to the St. Luke's Meridian Hospital, which says it's free. It says it's a 120 volt slow charger. Um, so we'll see if that's accurate as well. Now, one thing I did notice is if I scan over a little bit to the right here, you see an orange um, logo. And what that is, is when I click on that, it shows that it's a Boise supercharger, meaning an, an actual um, Tesla supercharger network. And you can see that from the image there. Um, and so when I scroll down, it says free. And I think, I think it just means free for people who are grandfathered in. I think if you don't have the free supercharging, then you won't get free supercharging, but even though it says free there, shows again some of the different things that are in the area, um, etc. But what I noticed was right next to it, and one of the ones that I want to check on here, just down the road here, there is a Candlewood Suites. And if we drill in on this Candlewood Suites Meridian, um, it shows as free, and it says there are two Tesla high power wall chargers mounted on a post along the front row of the parking spots along the sidewalk and it you could if you look at the image there it does look like those are two superchargers it says they're completely free it's open 24 7 and you can see someone's comment there they're 48 amp rockstar parking um, 11 kilowatt uh, one of them says that they're they're down that was a while ago um, so anyways i want to go out and verify that because that would be amazing if it was completely free and it's literally right down the road um, from an actual supercharger. For free. Sounds good to me. So, um, also, you know, in that same line of, of, of saying it's free, I want to just show, I looked at this one here. I know that this is a charge part. You can charge point, um, uh, charger and you could see it even there in the image it has the credit card reader on the uh, post so I know that it's not free although it does say free in the parking so sometimes you got to use some judgment with these and just make sure that they are free or not free I even see here somebody says definitely not free in the comments um, that sucks so um, just use your best judgment with this but I think it's a, a really good way to locate some of the free supercharger network uh, superchargers in your specific area so we'll, um, we'll head out in the vehicle, 
and we'll hit them, these three spots along this road here, the, the Albertsons, the uh, St. Luke's, and then we'll head down to this Candlewood and see um, if it is actually 48 amps and completely free. Okay, so we made it to the first destination. This is the Albertsons parking lot. Uh, looks like they do have two free EV chargers. There's one that I'm parked at right now. It's right behind me. And then there's one right next to it. I'll show you here these. Okay, so there's the one. And I'll jump out here and show you the other one. Okay, so let's see what we got. So it's starting to charge. I'm pretty close to being fully charged anyways, but um, it looks like it is about 24 miles per hour on the charge. 32 amp, 194 volts, and it's got about 40 minutes remaining. So that one checked out. So let's uh, get packed up. We're gonna head over to the second destination and we'll see what it's like over there. So we're at the St. Luke's Hospital and we're looking for this charger and this might be a little bit of a challenge um, as this is a pretty decent size complex. So I'm just going to look around a little bit, see if I see anything standing out. And there it is and it looks like somebody's plugged in, dang it. Looks like someone is plugged in already. It's a plug-in hybrid. Clipper Creek. 120 volts. So it is plugged in. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well look over here. Looks like there's a beautiful model. Red Model Y. Hey, job looks really good. <clears throat> Okay, well, we won't be testing this one right now. So I'm at the Candlewood Suites, um, just got here, plugged in already. They're just like the picture showed, there are two Tesla um, ports, Tesla charge ports, did not need my adapter. It literally just plugged right into the Tesla and um, nothing told me to go see the front desk or anything. It just is um, available right when I plugged it in. So what we're getting, you can see 30 minutes remaining. It is about a 38 mile per hour charge. 48 amps, 205 volts. Um, so this is the fastest so far that I've seen. And um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this up or at least get a little bit of the charge in and then um, we'll get back on the road. Maybe while I'm waiting, I'll go ahead and check in here on the app. That was pretty good. Um, two of the three, well, I mean, all three of the locations were there. Uh, two of them I was able to connect to, and they both were pretty good uh, in terms of charge time and charge power. Uh, the one that I did not get to connect 
arrived to at the hospital was the slow charger and it just didn't look like a type of place where there's a lot of turnover in terms of um, it just looked like that car was going to be there for a while so so um, I didn't I didn't wait but but I think in all in all you can look at this plug plug share app as something locally that will help you identify where the best chargers are in your area that you can you can utilize to your benefit.